This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.8.3. Instructors can now create text submission assignment types in Brightspace Learning Environment. This feature implements PI item D135. Now, when creating an assignment submission folder, in the Submission Options section, you can specify if you want learners to create and submit text documents directly in assignments using a rich text editor. When using the text submission assignment type, learners can now work directly within Brightspace Learning Environment, allowing for a simpler workflow and standard file type submissions. You can now group courses that appear in the My Courses widget by semester name, department, or role. Before you begin, you must turn on the D2L, Tools, My Courses widget, Updated Sort Logic, Configuration Variable to use this feature. Click the My Courses widget's context menu and select Customize this widget. Then, in the Group Courses by section, select your preference for grouping courses by semester, department, or role. And click Save. Courses are separated into tabs within the widget for easy viewing and selection. System and custom widgets now display more prominently against home page backgrounds. The new widget container style appears by default for both system and custom widgets. You may temporarily opt out of this stylistic change until October 2018 using the D2L System Brightspace Daylight Widget Style configuration variable. Parents can now download a learner's assignment submissions to increase their awareness of work completed by their children. Now, when a parent accesses their child's assignment and navigate to the submission, they can click the submission to download it. Parents can now view rubric feedback added to assignments by instructors to increase awareness of learner performance. Now, when a parent accesses their child's assignment and navigate to the rubric, they can view how the instructor evaluated the assignment. Instructors can now filter classes by section in Brightspace Portfolio. Now, from Brightspace Portfolio, instructors can click the All Users filter and select a section to filter learners by sections based on their enrollment. When you export a course from Brightspace Learning Environment, any rubrics associated with course assessments, such as assignments, quizzes, and discussions, are now preserved in the resulting course package. This allows you, as well as course designers and instructors, to import the course package without manually recreating the rubric associations in the course. Now, during the bulk course copying process, you can offset previous course dates and dates relative to the new semester in the destination courses via the new day offset and hour offset columns in the CSV file. These columns are optional and may be left blank if date offset is not required. For AWS hosted Brightspace Core clients, the course conversion service used to import course packages is now located in Amazon Web Services. Brightspace Core clients that are not AWS hosted continue to use the course conversion service located at a D2L data center. Some columns have been removed from the Rubric Object Criteria Brightspace dataset, and a new Rubric Criteria Levels dataset has been created. The two sets cover all of the columns in the original Rubric Criteria Object dataset, and each new dataset has its own primary key columns. These datasets are available as both full and differential datasets. To provide you with more information when analyzing differences between datasets, some Brightspace datasets now include rows of data that have been soft deleted from the application but are still present in the database. You will notice three new columns added to some full and differential Brightspace datasets. You will notice an updated page refresh behavior and navigation changes in the plug and play screen. When a user refreshes the Ipsys plug and play screen, they now remain on their current page or tab and persist all filter and search parameters, allowing them to link and navigate to specific errors or transactions. SIS providers now have a unique step while creating an SFTP integration, shown as the Generate SFTP Credentials Streamlining and Integration Configuration Process. 
Configuration and password reset for SFTP are now available in the Configuration tab on the IPSIS administration page along with the other configuration options. You now have the ability to display images within feed messages. The updated LIS endpoint configuration includes the new bulk endpoint configurations for LIS 2.0 configurations. In addition, one roster clients will see minor UI changes which improves the consistency throughout the LMS. Instructors and learners will notice interface changes to the table of contents in lessons. Arrow icons display on tiles that contain additional course components, indicating you can expand them. The selected tile displays handles, indicating you can drag and drop it to rearrange it in the table of contents. Tiles can now display more characters, allowing longer names. Highlighting around the selected tile is more prominent. Also, each material type displays as a unique icon, making it easier to visually distinguish materials. Lessons now supports two Read Speaker integrations. The Read Speaker HTML Content Integration solution automatically enables Read Speaker Online Text to Speech technology for HTML content in lessons. The Read Speaker Doc Reader integration provides audio rendering of supported document types in lessons. As images and text can be included in any type of question using the features of the HTML editor, there is no longer a need for image and text information items. Image and text information items in existing quizzes or question libraries convert into sections and are still displayed to learners attempting the quiz. One section is created for each existing image or text information item. You will notice a number of improvements to the Turnitin version 2 integration. Set the D2L, third party, Turnitin, LTI, pay per view request email configuration variable to collect all Turnitin pay per view requests in a single email. Set the new D2L, third-party, turn it in, Grademark Auto Transfer Default configuration variable to auto copy as draft to automatically copy scores over to Brightspace Learning Environment as a draft. All other functionality is automatically enabled for Turnitin version 2 users. The version of HTTPS communications has been updated from TLS 1.0 to TLS 1.2. Updates have been made to automate date management in Turnitin. Start and end dates are no longer managed separately or prohibitive when learners make a submission in Brightspace Learning Environment and the Turnitin dates are not set correctly. Submissions made to a Turnitin enabled assignment submission folder are pre validated at the time of submission to ensure they are within the file type and size requirements enforced by Turnitin. Learners have access to formative feedback left in Grademark even if there is no score, which can be found in the Assignment Submission folder in User Progress or in Grades. Feedback on group assignments is now provided to all learners in the group. 